Watch the moment George Santos learns he's facing yet another damning criminal indictment. Excuse me. They said that he stole people's identities. Did you steal people's identities? Did you commit identity crimes? What do you have to say to your constituents? I will not. I have no comment. I was in conference like everyone else without my phone, so I have nothing to talk about. I need to take a look at my phone. Did you commit? In the wake of being accused of stealing donors' identities, the Republican congressman is now facing the first GOP-led effort to expel him from the House. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Are you going to offer a resolution to expel George Santos? Yeah, that's the plan. We're going to, uh, we plan on filing the resolution this afternoon. Uh, it's been co-sponsored by all the New York freshmen. Um, we just feel that uh, enough's enough. Obviously, a couple months back, uh, the suggestion was made because there wasn't a two-thirds vote in order to remove him from the House of Representatives to send it to ethics. I know that uh, ethics has been a little busy, but, uh, you know, it's time that uh, we see some results. And um, after the, the latest indictment, I think it's clear that uh, he's not fit to serve in the House of Representatives. Uh, he's a stain on the institution, and, and that's why the New York freshmen have, have come together. He's also a stain on our state. Republican representatives Nick LaLota and Anthony D'Esposito say they're making a new effort to oust George Santos and that it'll catch fire. This effort to push Santos out of office was renewed in the wake of 10 newly added federal criminal charges being filed against a freshman congressman yesterday, bringing his indictment count up to 23. In the new indictment, prosecutors allege the first-term congressman from New York stole donor identities, used their credit cards to make more than $44,000 in charges, and wired some of the money to both his own personal bank account and campaign coffers. In addition, the government has accused Santos of falsely claiming to the Federal Elections Commission that he loaned his campaign $500,000 when he hadn't loaned it anything and, in fact, had less than $8,000 in the bank. Of course, it's not just members of the GOP seeking to oust Santos. As you'd imagine, the Dems are very much on board. Ted Lieu from California made that clear this morning. The con man purportedly known as George Santos should resign. Multiple Democratic members of Congress and Republican members of Congress have called on him to resign. I believe a, a motion to expel was put on the floor. It would pass. He can save himself that embarrassment by simply resigning. It's evident that Santos should have been out long ago, but for members of his party wanting to keep up their numbers. House Democratic Caucus Chair Pete Aguilar explains. Um, but we firmly believe the House Democratic caucus firm, firmly believes uh, that that individual, that George Santos, does not meet the standards of someone who should serve under this dome. We've been very clear about that. It's only our Republican colleagues uh, who have uh, protected him, namely because they need the vote. You know, anytime we see something, and George Santos has been the deciding vote on, on uh, items of policy over the last few months, uh, they need his vote. That's why they protect him. That's why he's still here. Here's what's required in order to get the deal done this time. As the House's most extreme form of punishment, expulsion requires a two-thirds supermajority to pass, a barrier so high that it has only been cleared five times in the institution's history, making it far from clear if the move was little more than a messaging exercise by Republicans preparing to defend swing seats next year. Just as he did with the first indictment, Santos denies the most recent allegations against him. In a recently released statement, Santos condemned the GOP-led efforts to remove him from office, saying in part, It's disheartening to witness my colleagues prioritize their campaigns over the essential work that needs to be done. However, we must remain steadfast in our commitment to upholding due process and respecting the Constitution. It is the cornerstone of our democracy and the guiding light that ensures justice and fairness for all. An expulsion of myself as a member of Congress before being found guilty from a criminal investigation will set a dangerous precedent. This will do nothing other than erase the voices of the electorate. Santos also urges fellow Americans to stay strong. He says together we can overcome these challenges and forge a better future for all Americans. Sounds like someone is well aware that the GOP needs his vote for House Speaker and just about anything else the Republicans wish to accomplish in Congress. So do you think Santos's job is secure for the time being? 
If so, it'd be great if he did his job by maybe filing his financial disclosures. Then again, he could end up facing more fraud charges. Anyway, you let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit those like and follow buttons, and thanks for watching.